cloudy and temperatures were between 13 and 16 degrees. You're listening to the NOAA Weather Radio WXM68, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting the latest weather forecasts, warnings, and other information 24 hours a day. WXM68 is coming to you from a transmitter in Leiden, Massachusetts, at 162.425 megahertz and serves the central Connecticut River Valley and adjacent portions of central New England. This program is provided by your National Weather Service office in Albany, New York, on the campus of the University at Albany. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for northwestern Connecticut, western Massachusetts, east central New York, eastern New York and southern Vermont. For today and tonight, light snow is expected for most of the region today. Snowfall amounts will remain below advisory criteria, but could still result in slick travel conditions, especially this afternoon and evening. And now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Thursday. We continue to monitor a coastal storm that is expected to bring a moderate to possibly heavy snowfall to much of eastern New York and western New England Monday evening through Tuesday. Winter weather headlines may be issued over the next day or two if forecast confidence in these snowfall amounts increases. Spotter information statement, spotter activation is not expected at this time. Synopsis, after a cold start to the morning, a clipper system will bring light snow to the region today with a general inch or two for most areas. Warmer temperatures are expected Sunday with some additional light snow showers for northern areas. Dry weather returns Sunday night in the first half of Monday, but then all attention turns to a more impressive storm system that may bring a moderate snowfall to much of the region Monday night into Tuesday night. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Connecticut Valley this afternoon, cloudy. A slight chance of snow early, then snow likely. Total snow accumulation around an inch. Colder with highs around 20. South winds around 5 miles per hour. Chance of snow 70%. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow in the evening. Cold with lows around 9 above. Southeast winds around 5 miles per hour in the evening, becoming light and variable. Chance of snow 50%. Sunday, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow showers in the afternoon. Not as cool with highs in the upper 30s. South winds around 5 miles per hour, increasing to southwest 10 to 15 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of snow 30%. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Cold with lows around 17. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. And for the southern Green Mountains this afternoon, cloudy. A slight chance of snow early, then snow likely. Total snow accumulation of 1 to 3 inches. Cold with highs around 18. South winds around 5 miles per hour. Chance of snow 70%. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow in the evening. Cold with lows around 9 above. South winds around 5 miles per hour in the evening, becoming light and variable chance of snow 50%. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of snow showers. Not as cool with highs in the mid-30s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming west 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 25 miles per hour in the afternoon. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. Cold with lows around 14. West winds around 15 miles per hour becoming northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour after midnight. And now the extended forecast for the radio listening area, Monday, mostly sunny in the morning, then becoming mostly cloudy. Highs in the lower 30s. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming southeast around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Monday night, snow. Heavy snow accumulation. Cold with lows in the mid-twenties. Chance of snow 90%. Tuesday, snow in the morning, then rain and snow likely in the afternoon. Additional light snow accumulation. Highs in the mid-thirties. 
chance of precipitation 90%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of snow showers in the evening, then partly cloudy after midnight. Cold with lows in the lower 20s. Chance of snow 30%. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 40s. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow showers after midnight. Cold with lows in the upper 20s. Chance of snow 40%. Thursday, a chance of snow showers in the morning. Mostly cloudy with a chance of rain showers. Highs in the lower 40s. Chance of precipitation 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow showers after midnight. Cold with lows in the upper 20s. Chance of snow 50%. Friday, mostly cloudy. A chance of snow in the morning, then a chance of rain in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 30s. Chance of precipitation 50%. The current time is 1.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now the hourly information for the greater northeast. Here are the noon Eastern Standard Time observations for West Central New England. At Bennington, Vermont, it was cloudy. The temperature was 16 degrees, the dew point 4, and the relative humidity 59%, the pressure was 30.31 inches, and falling. At Springfield, Vermont, it was cloudy. The temperature was 13 degrees, the dew point minus 1, and the relative humidity 54%, the pressure was 30.37 inches, and falling. At North Adams, Massachusetts, light snow was falling. The temperature was 18 degrees, the dew point 8, and the relative humidity 65%. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.33 inches and falling. At Rutland, it was cloudy. The temperature was 17 degrees, the dew point 7, and the relative humidity 64%. The wind was south at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.33 inches and falling in central New England and eastern New York. Throughout the region, it was cloudy and temperatures were between 12 and 17 degrees. Looking around the northeast, snow was falling with a temperature of 19 at Hartford and 16 at Albany. It was cloudy with a temperature of 11 at Burlington, 17 at Manchester, New Hampshire, 17 at Key, New Hampshire, and 17 at Boston. At Montpelier, the weather conditions were not available. Again, the noon Eastern Standard Time hourly information for southwest Vermont. It was cloudy, and temperatures were between 13 and 16 degrees.